It's a winter day. Alara's house is decorated for Christmas. She is standing in front, talking to the snowman. In the end, she decides to split carrots with the snowman. Soon Alara's sister Chelsea arrives and they hug. Chelsea is teasing her sister about the snowman and finally finding someone to spend time with under a mistletoe. It's getting cold outside and they decide to go inside the house. Alara helps with her sister's suitcase. Once they enter the house, Alara and Chelsea start talking about the upcoming projects they are working on. Chelsea notices Alara decorated the house the same way their parents did in the past, and Alara admits the decorations remind her of them. She tells her sister about the exchange program she is working on. She still needs the school to approve the project. Chelsea talks for a while about her struggles at work. She explains that the seniors think she should stay in the social media department. Alara supports her sister and concludes she needs to stand up for herself because no one else will do it. Alara and Chelsea sit in front of the table and Alara reads the text of the project out loud. Chelsea realizes the title of the project is 12 Dares of Christmas. Alara smiles and explains it's a typo as the title is supposed to say 12 Days of Christmas. Chelsea likes the project but thinks her sister needs to take her own advice and be daring and unconventional with the project. They continue talking about guys for a while and enjoying the holiday atmosphere. Gabriel finds a bench to sit down with his suitcase. He makes a phone call and leaves a message saying he arrived in America. Victor soon calls him to check if everything is fine with his trip. Victor wants Gabriel to confirm the plans for the program that was the reason for Gabriel's travel. Gabriel promises to let Victor know about the program and meet the people in charge, but he first needs to check into his hotel. Gabriel also feels a bit insecure about his trip but Victor reassures him and reminds him to keep a positive attitude. Gabriel gets up from the bench, takes his luggage, and starts walking towards his destination. Alara is in the classroom having a presentation. The woman who is listening to and grading her presentation, Rita, advises Alara to give the presentation another thought. She is wondering where Alara is in the project and she wants to know her unique and personal perspective. Alara is a bit disappointed but she promises to continue working on the project, especially because she is interested in the position of the vice principal. She reminds Rita that she has worked her whole adult life in this school, and before that, she was a student there. Rita explains that, by doing a successful presentation in front of the board, Alara will increase her chances of becoming a vice principal. Alara arrives back at her home, and her sister Chelsea is there waiting for her. Chelsea is holding an envelope in her hand and hides it behind her back once she hears Alara walking in. Alara is curious to find out what her sister is hiding from her. Chelsea wishes her a Merry Christmas and gives her the red envelope. She explains she needs a way to demonstrate her creative skills and her sister's 12 Dares project was a great inspiration. As there are 12 days left until Christmas, Chelsea will give Alara one envelope with one challenge every day. The first dare, as Alara reads in the letter invitation, is to give her number to 12 guys she randomly meets. Alara is at first shy and reminds Chelsea she has a lot of obligations and needs to meet with Gabrielle later that night, but she eventually accepts the game of dares. Later that day, Chelsea and Alara are sitting in a cafe bar. Gabrielle arrives at some point and sits at the bar. Alara feels like she is lacking confidence and doesn't know how to approach guys and give them her number. Her sister writes Alara's number on the tissue. Alara starts practicing her lines but Chelsea doesn't think they are that funny. Throughout the night, Alara walks to various men in the bar and hands them the tissue, but they mostly walk away. Alara gets back to the table where her sister is feeling amused by the situation, and admits she has humiliated herself and handed out almost all of the tissues. Gabrielle, who is sitting a few meters away, is observing Alara with a smile. Chelsea points out there is a handsome stranger at the bar. Alara is reluctant to approach anyone anymore but she decides to give one more tissue. She approaches Gabrielle and starts the conversation awkwardly. Gabrielle is amused and also confused by the situation. Alara finally admits that she has a deal with her sister about giving out her number and says that it's a long story. Gabrielle smiles at her and picks up his phone to make a call. Alara is about to leave but her phone rings and she answers the call. She realizes the guy sitting next to her is Gabrielle and blushes. A bit later, Gabrielle and Alara are walking through the area and talking about what just happened. Alara explains that her sister is waiting for her at the cafe and invites Gabrielle to join them. Gabrielle accepts the invitation and Alara continues the conversation about the student program. Gabrielle is still tired from the trip and would rather talk about business later. They enter the cafe and run into Chelsea, who is busy showing Troy how to make a delicious winter drink. Alara explains her sister used to work in this cafe when she was in high school. Chelsea and Troy are occupied with the conversation about Chelsea helping out with the cafe's social media, and Alara and Gabrielle decide to sit down and continue their conversation. During the conversation, there is a mix-up, and Gabrielle and Alara both realize they misunderstood each other about the exchange program. Gabrielle realizes that the program is still not greenlit, and Alara realizes that Gabrielle booked non-refundable flights for his students thinking the program will start this year. Alara is shocked to hear Gabrielle thought the program is starting in a few months. She tries to explain that she invited Gabrielle to help her with the presentation in front of the board. 
They both get upset at each other. Alara tries to fix situation by saying it is too late to cancel the program now. Gabriel is skeptical about the situation. He thinks it is better to cancel the program. Alara asks him to give her a chance to prove that they can successfully organize it, and Gabriel starts laughing and leaves. Alara stays by herself wondering how to fix the situation. The following day, Alara is up and by her computer, thinking about the project. Her sister walks into the room in her pajamas and opens the box full of Christmas cookies. She thinks Alara should put some chili in the cookies next time she makes them to spice up the recipe and make something new compared to previous years. She has another dare ready for Alara but Alara explains she doesn't have time for any more dares as much as she likes Chelsea's ideas. Chelsea comforts her, saying Alara will figure something out, just like she always does in a crisis. Chelsea walks to Alara and reads the next dare written on the paper. Alara is supposed to decorate the gingerbread house. Once she hears the dare, Alara refuses to do it and reminds Chelsea she needs to solve the mess with the exchange program. Alara and Gabrielle are in the classroom, standing in front of the board. They are hoping to get the project approved. All board members receive a file with the new information about the project Alara wrote. Alara tells everyone about the misunderstanding and the group of students who are about to travel from France this year. The board members show consideration but they still feel reluctant to approve the program. Rita reminds Alara that the project needs more time, and Alara asks the board to give the project a chance and think of it as a test run. She promises to write a detailed itinerary until Christmas and figure out a way to find more funds. Gabriel jumps in to talk about his experience of moving to France and finding a second family there. The board likes his perspective on the project and finally, they approve the project. Gabriel and Alara are by the table with the gingerbread houses. They are discussing what happened at the board meeting. Alara challenges Gabriel to a gingerbread house competition. Gabriel takes off his gloves and they both start making and decorating a gingerbread house from scratch. Alara realizes Gabriel has never made a gingerbread house before. She attempts to help him but he is too proud to accept her help. After a while, Gabriel proclaims that he is finished with the task. Alara describes his gingerbread house as tragic. Gabriel wants to leave the location so no one would know he made the gingerbread house, but Alara remembers she needs to notify her sister first. She sends a picture of two houses to Chelsea and lets her know that she completed another of her dares. Gabriel leaves to take another call from his boss Victor, and Alara runs into Rita, who is dissatisfied with Alara's presentation and results. She warns Alara that, unless she comes up with ways to improve the situation, her promotion is questionable. Gabriel returns and tells the group he just talked to Victor who is upset about the situation. Rita fully understands why Victor is not happy. She thinks that Alara and Gabriel are responsible for the mess up and need to find a way to solve it. Afterward, Gabriel and Alara spend some time talking and getting to know each other. Gabriel is interested in hearing why Alara wants this exchange so badly. She explains that, as a French teacher, she thinks Christmas in France is magical, and she wants that experience for her students. Alara finds Gabriel pessimistic and he explains it is because he is from Oregon where it's always raining. Alara invites him to come by her house tomorrow so they can figure out the itinerary, and the ideas for the project. Gabriel teases her saying he will think about it and hints at his pessimistic worldview. The next day, Alara is at home. She hears a bell on the door and opens the door. There is no one at the door. Alara is about to close the door but she sees another envelope on the floor. She picks it up and returns inside. There is another challenge Chelsea imagined as the next dare for Alara. Alara texts her sister saying she doesn't want to do another challenge. She checks Chelsea's social media project and realizes they have multiple hundred followers and likes. Someone is again at the door. Alara opens the door, it's Gabriel. Gabriel comments on the decoration in the house, and Alara explains there can never be too many decorations. She shows Gabriel the social media project her sister is working on and explains she started crowdfunding and put the link on Chelsea's social media page. Gabriel is impressed by Alara's idea, and he wants to help with the project. They go in front of the house and Alara remembers Chelsea's next dare. She makes a snowball and throws it towards Gabriel. Gabriel reminds her that he used to be the captain of a handball team back at college. They both start throwing snowballs at each other and having fun. Alara ends up in Gabriel's hug and they smile at each other. Gabriel takes a photo of Alara with the snowball so she can send it to Chelsea. The next dare Alara receives is about ice skating. Upon their return from ice skating, Gabriel and Alara make plans for the project. They put pictures of various ideas on the paperboard. Gabriel hurt his elbow while they were skating, and Alara gives him ice to put on his arm. She teases him about his skating skills and Gabriel defends himself. Alara spots the next envelope and asks Gabriel if he is ready for another challenge. She reads the letter aloud. The challenge requires them to join in on eggnog making. Gabriel doesn't feel like going, especially when he hears that there will be board members and parents present at the market. Alara is determined not to let Gabriel avoid the dare. Alara and Gabriel arrive at the school market, where Rita is explaining step by step how to make an eggnog. Alara and Gabriel find the ingredients in the bowls and follow Rita's instructions. Alara tries to separate the egg from the yolk but accidentally puts it all in the same bowl. Gabriel teases Alara about her lack of precision. 
He then proceeds to demonstrate the making of the eggnog. Once they are finished putting the ingredients and mixing them up, they decide to try the drink. Alara thinks it tastes amazing and they make a toast. Gabrielle reluctantly tells her that they forgot to add one of the key ingredients. Alara is slightly disappointed but she still thinks the drink is amazing, especially since they cooperated in making it. They go to the cafe where they run into Chelsea again. Alara is wondering if her sister started working there. Chelsea explains that she is only helping out Troy by doing what she does best, social media promotion. Alara and Gabrielle receive another dare and, after completing it, they take a photo of the two of them in the snow, covered in a blanket. Alara and Gabrielle are sitting at the table and cutting up homemade decorations. Gabrielle is struggling with finishing his decoration, and Alara wants to help him but Gabrielle thinks it is best if he does it by himself. While they are speaking, Alara receives a message about the cancellation of the welcome baskets they ordered. At first they both panic, but then they realize they can handle it themselves and they go out and buy various items for the baskets they will hand out to their exchange students. Afterward, Alara reads another one of her sister's dares. This time they are supposed to watch a Christmas movie under the stars. Alara recalls how much fun she had when she was watching movies with her sister when they were younger. Gabrielle arrives at the nicely decorated place on the outside looking like a tent. Alara is waiting for him inside and he gives her a cup of coffee. Gabrielle explains that he was looking for a particular type of coffee that he usually drinks in France, but he eventually got the Grinch coffee. Alara reveals she has a surprise too. She got them both the matching Christmas sweaters. Gabriel is reluctant to try the sweater on, and he shows Alara the comfortable blanket that he got in the local shop. Alara is pleased that Gabriel supports the local craft. Gabriel thinks it's a very French way of thinking, and they agree that student exchange between those two cultures is a good idea. Gabriel and Alara are back at her home again. Alara finds another letter her sister wrote. This dare is written in the form of a riddle. Alara reads the riddle and Gabriel realizes it hints at the town statue. They exit the house and find the statue. There is another letter waiting for them by the statue. It is again riddled, and this time the answer points them towards the trees on the school ground. Gabrielle is confused because there are so many trees near the school, but Alara already knows what tree her sister is talking about. It is their meeting tree, a point where they meet in town. Alara opens up about her past, she explains she has a close relationship with her sister and, due to the circumstances, she decided to stay in Ashby Hill instead of continuing her studies abroad. Gabrielle is curious to hear where Alara wanted to travel, and she admits it is France. Gabrielle now has a better understanding of Alara's motivation for organizing the exchange program. The leads in the letter take them to the creamery. Once they arrive, they realize Troy and Chelsea are already there. The duo tells them about the success of the creamery business recently. Alara doesn't want to be rude but she is surprised to hear that since the place is empty, and there are no customers. Chelsea explains they've been receiving a lot of online orders. Gabrielle and Alara sit down at their usual table to have a drink, and Chelsea and Troy make them a hot winter drink that Chelsea dedicated to Alara and named after her. Alara is thrilled that they are drinking the Alara float. Before she returns to her obligations, Chelsea and Troy tell them about the fruitcake competition they are helping organize the following day. Alara thinks it's a great opportunity to speak with the parents some more. Gabriel at first seems reluctant to join in. But in the end, he admits that he is enjoying the situation. Gabriel appears at Alara's home, carrying bags of ingredients for the fruitcake. First, they discuss what kind of cake they will be making. Alara thinks it's best to follow Gabriel's French recipes. Gabriel is against following recipes, he thinks they should do some experimenting and go with the flow. Alara is ready to follow Gabriel's cooking instructions. Once they are finished making fruitcakes, they try a few bites and conclude the fruitcakes are delicious. They bring them to the event and Alara reveals to her sister that the experience of making the fruitcakes with Gabriel was really fun. Chelsea has good news too, she explains that Troy offered her a partnership as they have been spending so much time together. Gabriel appears, interrupting the sisters' small talk and bringing various cakes for Alara to taste. Alara gets her next envelope to read, there are a few more left. The dare is inviting her to sing Christmas songs in front of the crowd. Alara reminds her sister that she doesn't sing in front of other people, but Chelsea thinks this will be good for Alara and will help her grow in the process and change for the better. Alara eventually accepts the dare and joins the group of carol singers who are about to start singing. She takes a copy of the notes with lyrics and joins the group. Gabrielle decides to support Alara and start singing too. While they are singing, Alara's phone is ringing and showing missed messages but she doesn't notice anything. After the singing challenge is completed, Alara and Gabrielle discuss the events at the fruitcake competition. The principal of Alara's school, Rita, appears. She is surprised that Gabrielle and Alara are having that much fun when the inn where the students are supposed to stay during the exchange is flooded. Alara is surprised to hear the news and Rita explains that she has been trying to reach them but they were busy cooking and making fruit cakes and uploading photos on social media. Rita wants to know what they are planning to do about it. Gabrielle thinks that the project is probably finished, but Alara is more optimistic. She promises Rita that she will figure something out. 
She even asks if the board members or Rita herself would be willing to act as host families for the students. Rita reminds her that it is her mess and she needs to fix it. Rita leaves, and soon after Chelsea arrives to ask about what is happening and to give Alara another envelope. Once she hears about what happened with the inn, she comforts her sister and Gabrielle, saying Alara will do what she always does, she will solve the crisis. She hands the envelope to Alara and leaves. Alara and Gabrielle sit in a cafe with their laptop. They make a website directory with the info about the exchange students and the students that could be hosts during their stay. Alara thinks they can match them based on interests, and Gabrielle likes the idea. Alara and Gabrielle read the next challenge together that says Alara needs to sit on Santa's lap. They find Santa Claus sitting in a chair and waiting for children to take photos with him. Alara approaches Santa, sits on his lap, and tells him about her wishes as Gabrielle is observing her from a distance. She talks about the student exchange program and says that she wants to give the children the opportunity she didn't have when she was younger. She also mentions meeting a handsome stranger but she is reluctant to believe in love because she doesn't know if all those nice things can happen to one person. Gabrielle and Alara are again in a cafe, working on the project. Alara is wondering if there is too much of her in the presentation. Gabrielle gets emotional and tells her that he is proud of her because of what she has done so far for the students. Chelsea interrupts their conversation for a while to give Alara another envelope. Alara is by now used to her sister giving them envelopes. They read the letter. The dare is to extend the spirit of Christmas to another person and to Christmify their house. Alara decides that they are going to surprise Rita, the principal. They gather in front of Rita's house and put Christmas decorations and lights on trees and by the door. Rita walks out of the house to check what is going on. Alara reluctantly admits it was her idea to surprise Rita. Everyone is fearfully waiting for Rita's reaction. Surprisingly, Rita, who is known for being strict and skeptical, is touched by the act and she thanks everyone saying it finally feels like Christmas. Rita wants to have a private word with Alara. Rita apologizes to Alara and tells her she wants her by her side and as her vice principal. She thinks Alara is ready for that challenge. The group is in Troy's cafe, celebrating and talking. Victor, Gabrielle's boss, suddenly appears. Gabrielle gets worried and tries to justify himself. He walks outside the cafe to speak with Victor. Once he returns, he explains to Alara that Victor saw the flooded inn and he wants the students to return to France as soon as their plane lands. Alara can't believe Gabrielle wants to give up at this point when almost everything is organized. Gabrielle asks her if they could use the money from the crowdfunding to pay for the students' return tickets. Alara checks the fundraising link and realizes that, unless they collect exactly $10,000, they won't receive any money at all. Gabrielle and Alara are both under a lot of stress and they start arguing. Gabrielle gets up and leaves the cafe. Alara is at home with Chelsea, making a stew. Her sister is trying to cheer her on. She gives her the last challenge, which requires them to drink hot cocoa in their favorite spot when they were kids, in a treehouse where Alara took Gabrielle a few days ago. They gather around the fire and drink the cocoa and Alara also gives her sister a present in the form of a legally binding letter. Chelsea reveals that Troy asked her out and asks about Gabrielle. Alara is in a melancholic mood, she doesn't think that every story has a happy ending. The next day, Alara is preparing to speak in front of the board and the principal. She is nervous because she needs to tell them that the project is sadly cancelled. Chelsea arrives to support her sister and asks her if she checked the fundraising page recently. Thanks to Troy's cafe, they gathered the $10,000 sum and the project doesn't need to be cancelled after all. Alara is blown away by the twist of events. She finds Gabrielle in school. He tells her that he spoke to Victor and they are willing to be a part of the project. The exchange students also arrived and they will be listening to Alara's presentation. Alara starts her heartwarming presentation about the 12 days of Christmas and the dares she and Gabrielle planned for the students. She emphasizes it is important to her that the students experience the Christmas spirit. After the presentation, Gabrielle congratulates Alara. Since he missed the final dare, she gives him another envelope decorated with mistletoe and explains she is ready to do an adventure of her own. She will be moving to France for a semester. They accept the dare, kiss under a mistletoe, and join in on the holiday atmosphere.